Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. I just want to give you a little walkthrough of iPhone operating system 4.0. So I'm just going to show you some of the new features that are in this new release. So first, I want to show you um, spell check. So if you're in notes or throughout the app, you can do this wherever. Let's say I was spelling the word cake. I spelled it wrong. How do I fix it? Well, as you can see, it's underlined in red, so I can recognize easily that it's incorrect. Same thing as on the iPad, you just click, click, bam, changed. Now I'm going to show you how to change the background. You just go to settings, and then you go wallpaper, and you can choose whatever. I'm just going to choose camera roll. And this is a picture I took when I was at Best Buy, waiting for my iPad. I'm going to go set, set home screen, it saves the photo, and then bam, the back of my iPhone has that picture. Now obviously this isn't the perfect picture because it's not in the same orientation, but you get the idea and you can do this with whatever uh, picture you want. Now let's uh, go to camera and show you some of the new features in the camera app. So first of all, alright, so let's say I wanted to take a, pic a video or whatever. We'll put it in video mode just so I can show you first. So one of the things in video mode was you weren't able to focus once you started recording. So I can focus here, start recording, and then as you can see, I can still adjust, be focused to whatever I want. So if I'm over here, let's focus in on that flip, I can focus. And also, double click. Uh, you have digital zoom, so you're five times digital zoom. So if I'm pointing at this flip here, I can zoom in, focus, and then take a picture or uh, do whatever I want. So again, zoom, just double click. I want to show you how to make a folder. It's really pretty easy. So let's go to the last page. And let's say for some reason I wanted to group uh, the, this app with this app. You just drag it on top and now it's called lifestyle for whatever reason. I guess that's the category. And then I can go in here and just change it to whatever I want. So let's say I didn't want it to be called that. I want it to be called test. I can go ahead and do that. And now I have a folder called test and when I open it up it gives me this little grid of the apps that I've put into the test folder. Let's show you unified email. So I go to email here, and I have my two email accounts that I can uh, log into. Let's click all inboxes. And as you can see, this particular email has this two here. Now this is sorted by threads, and you can see I was having a conversation with uh, a friend of mine, and I can speak or read all of the emails because it's threaded, which is really a pretty convenient feature, all inside of mail. I'm just going to quickly show you the game center, even though it doesn't currently have a function but you can click on it and you can line in, log in with your Apple ID. You can check your change your status. And then on the bottom you have friends and you can click and add friends if you want to and you can also look at friend requests and email a friend request if you want to have somebody become your friend. So that's just a quick walkthrough and initial impressions of the first beta of iPhone OS 4.0. Again, my name is Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. If you have any questions that you'd like to be answered, leave them in the comments below or send me an email, the revived one at gmail.com, and I'd love to help you out. What is your favorite feature of the new iPhone operating system? I'd like to read it in the comments below. Have a nice day.